Hello and welcome to Destiny Digits. This is the birthday number one reading. All right, so your birthday number talks about an opportunity that you have available to you. And this is in addition to your life path. So this is an energy that you can tap into. Numbers are kind of like personalities and you can kind of step into energies, you know, and wear them like outfits. And so a one is bold, ambitious, uh, determined, pioneering. You are comfortable in your own space. Uh, you're comfortable being first and leading, right? And so that takes the level of fearlessness. Okay, so that's the energy you carry. And so if you're a birthday number one, you're probably born on the first day of the month, the 10th day of the month. Uh, you find this number by adding the digits, reducing the digits of, of your day, of the day that you were born on. So how do you feel about yourself right now? This is going to be our first card out. It says your purpose is personal expansion. So ones, you are attempting to grow. You're attempting to expand, to step into a new version of self, a new moment in your journey. Um, and you want to be very intentional with the choices that you make. Um, and so this is, you know, you are very independent. And so this is almost a leveling up. Of, of the gifts and the skills that you already possess, right? But you want to go bigger. You want to be better. And so this is the energy we're in. Next card, what do you most want at this moment? Leader of light. So once you're already leaders, leader of light. It says, where are you being called to serve and support others? And so listen, we're here because we have something to do, something to give, something to be for another. All of us that are breathing have a job to do, some form of service. And as one, people are going to be watching you because you are a leader, right? And so what are you leading when you think about the life that you're living? If you could create any version, any life, any version of self, what would that be? And when you're leading, who are you leading? Where are you leading them to? What are you leading them to discover, right? Just naturally the way you live your life, you're a trailblazer, so eyes are going to be on you. And people are watching whether you ask them to or not, right? And so what would people see if they watched you live, right? Next, what are your fears? It says things are not what they seem. You're only trapped by your illusion. What freedom do you seek? So a part of our fears are really things that, that they are created illusions. They are created boundaries. They are blocks inside of us energetically that have convinced us that a possibility, an outcome, a goal, it's not achievable. It's not within reach. And so if you are reading the current energy of the people, places, and things, if you are looking at your current space and, and if you are reading it as, as its reality, as its law, and you are taking it for face value, then you can be convinced that nothing more will ever come or change or grow or expand. And so where we are is a moment, right? But it's not the destination. We can always count on change. That's a constant in life. And so don't get trapped in looking at the current environments and surroundings of where we are now. If you freed yourself from whatever you feel you are tied to, where would you free yourself to? And that is the reality. The place that you would you free yourself to is actually where you're going and moving to. And so don't get stuck in looking at where we are, but think about when I'm free, I'll be here. And that's where we just, that's where we live. We live in that space, whether it's in front of us or ahead of us. That's just a space that we should always attempt to live in, okay? And then that's how we come over those. That's how we overcome our fears and our illusions. All right, so next ones, we're going to see what is your advantage? What is your advantage? All right, I have one on the table and I have two that flipped out here. Let's take this one first. So what's your advantage? It says you heal by releasing, not suppressing. What emotions do you need to feel? All right, so 
What can help you right now is by tapping into self, by going in, tweaking, healing, bandaging, repairing, acknowledging, but most importantly, letting go. There's something you have to pay attention to within you so that it can be released and energy can, can kind of come in and flow freely. So the only way to heal is by letting something go. What are we suppressing and holding on to? What do we need to be honest with self and honest with others about, right? And as soon as we allow ourselves to feel those emotions that we really don't want to feel, it pushes us to a new place. And that's actually the advantage. So, so healing yourself is an advantage that you have right now in this moment. Okay. Next card. What is opposing you? What is opposing you? Uh-oh. Alrighty. Let's try that again. That got a little wild. All right. Now, I do have some on the table that flipped. How about if I just check these out? So you can make it through. Your higher self is always guiding you. What wisdom does your higher self have for you? So what's opposing you is, is you not being connected to the higher version of self. It's you not being tapped in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so without this wisdom, it almost will feel like you can't get through, like you can't progress, you can't grow, you can't expand. And so you can make it through, but not without wisdom. And so as long as we don't use our wisdom, as long as we don't use our higher self, as long as we don't step outside of self and ask for assistance, right? As long as we don't listen from within, we're always going to feel like there's a resistance, there's a block. And so we have to go into a different aspect of self to get through this. And you have the ability, you have the potential, it's just recognizing it and then consistently using that. What is the outcome according to the current situation? It says, turn your worry into wonder, surrender to the experience. What possibilities can you dream into reality? And so your outcome is that you can take your dreams and make them tangible. You can make them real. When you tap into your higher self, when you release anything that you're suppressing, and when you break free of these blocks, these illusions, these things that you feel you're really tied to or bound to or being held back, when you release all of that, you free yourself. You become light, right? And then you're ready to step into this role, this leadership role. Then you're ready to expand into in your purpose. But there are just a few things that have to be done, and it seems like they're all within, right? They're mindsets, they're old emotions, and they're accessing new potentials of us by being quiet and being still and really listening from within. All right, we'll take note of the card on the bottom of the deck, and then I have two more decks that we'll pull for additional messages. So on the bottom of that deck, we have rest, renew, recharge. What does your body crave and need right now? So start with that question. You know, take a moment and, and ask yourself some questions about the space that you're currently in. All right, ones, this card came over fast. So this is three of wands. It says planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. So three of wands is expansion. So how do you feel about yourself right now? This lines up personally. You're ready to expand. You're ready to grow. You're ready to engage. And you want life to be an expression of you, right? And so you're ready for, you're ready to go bigger. You're ready to be better. Um, and so when we plant those seeds to grow, to harvest, to nurture self, sometimes it takes time for them to come in. And so patience is required. But even as things are growing and shifting and taking form, there is still work that we can be do. We can be doing to prepare for that moment in time. 
to, to arrive. And so that would be like these little suggestions about releasing old emotion, tapping into higher self, you know, realizing we're not trapped. And so this is about making a plan, not only for what you want to see, but also for what you want to see in self as you step into this new, right? And you are in control. Next card. What do you most want at this moment? We have four of cups. It says failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, the distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. I think you want to come alive. You want to feel, you want to feel alive. You want life to feel like it's living, it's going through you. I think you want to become one with your existence. I think that you've been through plenty of things that have starved you, depleted you, kind of drained you energetically. But sometimes we can get so used to things putting us in this space that we can believe that this really are, is our story. And so this is the wake up moment. When spirit says wake up, it's like, hey, you know who you are. You know what you're here to do. You know you're a leader, right? You have people. People need you. You have something to do. Don't get distracted by these moments that, you know, that take us to this space of discontentment. Don't get lost in that. Wake up. Figure out the type of leader you are. Who are you being called to serve? Who are you being called to support? Who needs you? Okay? Those empty cups ahead of you, those in, in this card, those are empty for reason. And we may not understand it when it happens, but later on, it becomes a valuable part of our journey. All right, look at this. What are your fears? Well, we have Four of Wands, which is a pretty beautiful card. It talks about home, family, commitment, relationship, marriage, you know, really building um, things for the long haul, really committing to something. Um, it says so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. So look at this. You want to free yourself from this boredom, you know, and and it's coming. You know, sometimes what we what we we think that what we want is not coming, right? And so I think your fears are that if you believe that your life is as it is right now, maybe you you think that this four of wands would never arrive. But it's not believing those illusions. It's not being trapped in where we are. Right. And so when you free yourself, when you see clearly and you're looking out, it seems that you want to be looking at this four of wands type life, this experience. And that is yours. But that's what you have to hold on to. Right. And so how do we make this real? It's through gratitude. It's through being grateful. It's through knowing that it's here. Right. It's, it's by waking up and stepping outside of our own disappointment about how things didn't work out. This is taking control for our life and, and really being the leader that we are. Right. And so you want peace in your life. But at times it's like, is it coming? Is it possible? Absolutely. The celebrations are ahead, but don't believe the current experience or vision you know, and be mindful of the people, places, and things that we keep with us that tell us certain things about who we are. So what is your advantage? Well, remember that you can heal by releasing and not suppressing emotions. We have the Ten of Wands. And this is about sharing, you know, sharing the load, sharing the burden, not doing it all. Right. And so this is working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. And so this is about burnout. Right. Um, but the beautiful thing about this energy is that you're, you know, the 10 is the end of the journey. And so something, something new is coming. And so you can finally release, you can finally let this down. Assistance is here if you allow it to be, right? You can kind of disperse some of these wands and kind of delegate. 
Um, but the problem with overdoing it is our health takes a toll, right? So the advantage now is that you are at the end of a cycle or a journey that felt to be very burdensome and heavy, right? A lot of obligations, a lot of commitments, a lot of responsibilities, um, but things will, will begin to settle, but you have to be comfortable releasing. You know, these wands are our life force. They can do great things for us, but if we if we carry them beyond their date of expiration, they, be, they can become heavy. Right. And so in order to go forward, what will you do with the burdens that you've carried? And look, we have you heal by releasing, not suppressing. So what do you need to feel about where you've just come from? What do you need to feel? What was heavy? What felt like stress? What felt like it overworked you? Right. What made you feel like help was not available? What made you feel like doing it alone was the only way? And how can we move forward with balance? What can we release? What old ideas, what old thoughts? Because to be the leader that you are, leaders have to know how to delegate, how to assign tasks. Leading is not doing it all. It's having the vision of how we can share, we can disperse the tasks to all and to everyone in a way that's fair and equal. So it says you can make it through, right? We talked about what was opposing you. Sometimes that was not knowing that we actually can make it through something through our wisdom and our connection to our inner voice, our intuition. So the advantage that you have one is the emperor. This is logic in organization. It says when you're logical, when you're practical, when you're planning and when you're disciplined and when you're structured, success will just arrive naturally because you've ordered your steps. You've taken the necessary um, actions, right? You've taken charge. And this is, you know, you can, you can dominate and you can really take control, but it doesn't have to be in a demanding way. It doesn't have to be through being a dictator, but it's through consistency, structure and discipline, accept a leadership role. And so are you being guided to step into a new role? Now this could be just in your own story. Like maybe you just want to step into a version of self that walks differently, thinks differently, speaks differently, or you have the ability to step into, you know, a role in, in, in a family, in an organization, somewhere in life. You know, this is about answering a call and knowing that you have the wisdom to do so. And, and if you step into this role, it will be through your guidance and your connection with your higher self that will get you through. You know, sometimes we can't imagine like, is this too big for me? Am I qualified? alone in our own humanness, maybe we're not, but when we tap into the other, you know, gifts and aspects of this reality, yes, and that's everything beyond the veil that supports us, right? So when you combine your ability to be disciplined and structured with the spiritual relationships that you have available to you, like what can stop you, right? And, and that's what allows us to make it through and to rise to greatness. All right, so what is opposing you? Well, we talked about being able, we have surrender, queen of cups. And so we talked about being able to release emotions, right? We talked about being able to release emotions. The queen of cups is essentially where we want to end up right? We want to have a heart that's open. We want to be tapped in and in touch with our emotions. It says loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of ourselves. Trust your intuitions, a deep love of family and friends, follow your heart. So as this leader, as this one, you know, you know, you're living the life 
that is truly designed for you when you are following your heart, when you are just genuinely happy. That's when you're most aligned. But we have to heal our heart. We have to forgive ourselves, people, places, and things for being less than what we thought we deserved, right? But we have to believe that that what we want is still there. No matter where we've been, that's not an indication of where we go, but changes are required. So once we release, once we step into our power, our heart can open and then we can expand, right? It says, turn your worry into wonder, surrender to the experience. And it is through an open heart. It is through intuition. It is through your vision, it's through your compassion, it's through gentleness that you can actually get to where you most desire to be. Relationships are significant for you, one, right? Um, people love you. People are, are genuinely drawn to you, right? And so by you living a life that's authentically you, you really just become an awesome thing to watch, right? An awesome person to just witness come alive in life. So dreaming your possibilities into reality begins with the heart, right? It's about structure, discipline, our relationships with our inner self, our higher self, maintaining the dream no matter what we've endured, never getting so stuck in the in the disappointments that we forget that tomorrows are always going to come. So this is a story of your own expansion. This is about you stepping into self. At the bottom of that deck, we have four. Oh, how fitting. Oh my goodness. Check this out. So we had rest, renew, recharge. At the bottom of this deck, what do we have? Four of swords. Insights that come from meditation, the need to take a rest or take a vacation, allow yourself more time before making a decision, mental exhaustion, get more sleep. And so twice you are being summoned in a major way to give yourself a moment, give yourself a moment to really rest. And you know, sometimes as a one, you're just a go-getter. You you just have this, your engine's always running, right? You're always on go, you know? And sometimes rest can feel like loss, a loss of progress, a lack of gain. Um, but but you, you can only go forward when you're a hundred, right? You wanna go far. You don't just wanna go forward, but you wanna go far. And to go far, you have to power up. And so twice you're asked to rest, recharge, plan, meditate, relax, really prioritize your health. Three times, actually, because the Ten of Wands talks about health problems due to stress. And you know, stress is kind of like a precursor for many things. So think about your current health. Think about what you need. Think about relief that you can give yourself. Okay. Now, this was an extra card that came out, uh, Six of Swords. This is honestly one of my favorite cards, just because I think it's an acknowledgement of, of you saying, you know, I am in control of this life and I can make the changes and I can walk away from things. I do have the courage to honor me and to, you know, to go after what I want. It says the end of challenging times, things are looking up, but welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness, travel or relocation. And so this could be significant for um, some of the ones as you go through these shifts. All right, I have one more deck. I'm just gonna pull them out quickly and lay them down here. And these are just the crystal reading cards. Oh, this one kind of came out last. So we have balance. So right now you could feel like you want balance, right? You are trying to balance your life so that you can finally expand in the ways that you want. Um, and so balance is significant for you. Uh -oh, I'll just take them all. Lovers, what do you want most at this moment? Now that could be a real relate, like you significant, you could want a relationship, you know, you could want a partner that's loving and supporting. You could want to serve. You could be stepping into this moment of realizing that, you know, 
I'm ready for something significant. And we do have the four of wands here. We do have the queen of cups. Um, and in order to step into something healthy, you know, we do have to be comfortable releasing old versions of self, old habits and behaviors that probably didn't take us as far as we would want in love. And so if you are expanding in self and if you are ready to take on a partnership, um, it's about you, it, it, it's about you waking up to that and kind of being comfortable releasing all the things that, that really don't support that. Right. And so don't get lost in the distractions. If love is significant and when this lover's card is here, it doesn't always have to be romantic, but it could just talk about significant relationships and companions and, and soulmates crossing your path. So if there is almost like a soul tribe that you're calling or that you'd like to welcome in that is available discontentment and boredom is something that can pass. It's something that is not here to stay. Um, but you just have to recognize that the opportunities are always available. And when something doesn't go right, that's an indication that this didn't go right because over here is supposed to go right, right? So we keep going, but we don't, we don't wallow. So next it says, what are your fears? We have manifestation. Maybe you have this fear, you know, because of those illusions and those blocks and believing that things are as they seem right now, maybe your fear is that we're never going to be able to manifest what we truly want, right? Four of Wands is about celebrating. It's about having that peace and contentment in the life. It's about having that prosperity. And so it's like attempting to manifest these relationships, this abundance, this stability, these structures, these solid foundations. But, but, but because of where I've been and because of what it looks like, I fear that I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, and so because manifestation and four of wands are here, it's telling you, yes, you can, you know, clear off. It's still foggy. So you can't yet see through the fog, you know, and you may be required to move away. If this is significant for someone moving away from something could matter. Next card. What is your advantage? Well, we have take action, take action. And how do we take action? Well, I did just mention this six. So for some of you, this could be leaving something behind that you know is not a part of your growth. You know that the end has come. It's no longer holding on to it is only going to damage you, them, right? Um, it's going to keep you away from your journey as opposed to putting you on your path. And so what action can you take? What action can you take? Taking action puts you in a space of advantage, allowing others to help you, responding to your stress, you know, pulling back, doing less, balancing. Twice we have balance. Ten of Wands is a lack of balance. First card out was how do you feel about yourself right now? I think you are craving stability. You're cra you want to feel grounded, you know, and it'll come through rest, but you have to acknowledge. Um, and maybe you do have to share the burdens or just release some things that really aren't even significant for where you're going, you know, but then also you have to release and you have to feel and you have to not suppress, allow things to come up. And that's why you've been asked, you know, to really consider the rest period. So when we're talking about take action, it's honestly, it looks like rest, which is very weird because it seems like nothing's being accomplished. But what you don't understand is that you have to power up for the journey to come. And there are things that you need to know. There are things that you have to purge and let go of and, and overcome from within to prepare for this, this, this emperor role, this open heart of this queen of cups. In order to make this dream become the reality that you seek, a period of rest is vital, right? Don't ignore that. Don't ignore that. What is opposing you? Past life. So let's talk about the fact that sometimes the struggles, the energies, the cycles, the things that we are up against and overcoming in our life are really a continuation of old chapters. Um, you know, so our soul is a book and every chapter is a life that we've lived. And so although that you're, you know, living this life as who you are today, some of the energies are still present from the chapter before because those stories are still being continued. And so 
be mindful of that, that we are always a continuation of something more. We're also on a, a grander, we're a part of a tribe, right? We come into families that, that, that have energetic signatures and, and they are overcoming things in generation and generation. And so when you walk into a family, you are also absorbing that energy too, okay? And so past life talks about the relationships that are significant in this life because they've surfaced before in other, in other lives. But then that's energy. That's also energy. You know, you working through invisible, invisible um what are they like, what do you like opposition? Like it's invisible, but it's there, but you know, it's, you know what I mean? You can't see it, but it's like, why do I always feel like I'm, I'm battling or I'm overcoming or like, why does this keep, you know? And, and, and you have to take control. You have to keep going. So what are you being called to do? So when, when we're going through energy, when we're trying to clear, rectify, balance, bring harmony to, rewrite stories of our past lives and our family's histories. You're being called to do it in a way that is structured and disciplined. It's through logic, it's through organization, right? Um, and so you you are called, you could have been chosen in your family's line lineage to step into this emperor role. And so when we're talking about past life, you are coming in to, to change the game. You're coming in to rewrite something, right? And so you have to realize that that this is a lot bigger than just the day to day or the five or the 10 year plan that we've crafted. This is a lot bigger. And so you are going to make it through. You were chosen for this, but you have to allow your higher self, the versions of self that, that begin this story. You're coming in as the closer, right? But but, but remember, you were chosen to close, but the connection, the ways and how to do it, all those other roles that, that happened before the customer meets the closer, those are, those are in play, right? That's that higher self, that's our assistance, our spirit guides, that's the divine, that's God, that's whatever the source is for you that you know flows through you, with you, and assists you. And so you are showing up to deal with some past life stuff and 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 you were, it was written, right? It was written. Now, the beautiful thing is it could be challenging, but the energy is also going to come the opposite way too. So as strong as the challenge, as strong is the blessing. And so the facts that your dream, the fact that your dream can become a reality, the fact that you can become this open heart, but you can attract the relationship with people that have these, that are emotionally available and mature. That's, that's coming. Let's get one more to see what is the outcome. So guys, this was a new style of reading. I'm hoping that you like this. Uh, I have a 222 reading on Etsy. It's called the 222 reading, but it's also $2.22. And it will be similar to this. Um, and so what is the outcome according to the current situation? We have source. So this is saying that like, you know, you are really walking in your birthright. This, you are online. This is divine. Like the, the divine is here in present. Um, you understand, you understand that this thing is real. You are connected. You are being guided. The phone lines are open. You know what I mean? I feel like that's the realization. Bottom of the deck is success. Success. And so as this, this structured, this disciplined person who's comfortable stepping into a leadership role, success is yours. Releasing old emotions and no longer repressing, repressing success is yours, right? Releasing burdens, not carrying things, old baggage, success is yours. Being grateful, not getting lost in our day-to-day -day distractions and believing the current story or reality that we're living in. If you don't do that, success can be yours. This is about your expansion ones. And so this is beautiful. 
All right, I'm hoping this was helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by and take care.